Have you ever heard music that you didn't like the first time but loved the second time? I'll go first. I have three examples. The first is Bela Bartok's Piano Concerto Number no. 2. The first time I heard it after it was over, I couldn't remember anything about it. But then the second time, I knew that it was a masterpiece and loved it. Another example is the Max Roach album, Members Don't Get Weary. For some reason, I wasn't really into it the first time. Maybe I didn't like the raw sound. But then the second time I heard it, I said, oh, this album is amazing, man. And I think I love the fact that it had a raw sound. The third example would be Steely Dan's Asia. The first time I heard it, I thought, yeah, it's okay. Didn't think much of it. But then the second time I said, wow, this record is incredible. Why didn't I like it the first time? I mean, sometimes it happens with music. You may hear something. Maybe you're not in the right mind frame or maybe you're not paying attention. But sometimes you just don't like it. And then you go back and say, wow, this is incredible. But uh, as far as Steely Dan is concerned, uh, it's a great group. Uh, you have Donald Fagan and Walter Becker. They're great songwriters. They know how to use harmony. Uh, the lyrics are really crazy, but they're really creative in how they tell a story. Um, one other thing that I wanted to say is that I know there's some folks that know this music under the name of Yacht Rock. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't learn that term until literally like two years ago from Sirius XM. I'm very serious. I saw this channel that said Yacht Rock. And I was like, what the hell is Yacht Rock? But as the music went on, it made perfect sense.